We live in a world today where the most common place for couples to meet for the first time is on the internet. Some people think this is great, and some think it's terrible. Some think it makes dating more accessible to everyone, while others think it is only beneficial to the best-looking men, thus making it even more difficult for less attractive guys to get dates. Both sides have valid points, and yes, if you are good-looking, you are going to have a much smoother ride in the online dating game. So congratulations to all my handsome guys out there. You are playing on easy mode. But don't worry. If you are an average looking guy, even though you might not be able to attract the absolute top tier females, you can still easily manage to become successful in online dating. You just need to master the texting game. Of course, you should already be trying to improve yourself in other aspects of life, physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. But if you are already on the self-improvement path, Learning how to text women in order to attract them is going to be very beneficial. And that is what I am going to teach you in this video. Let's get into it. Number 1. Be eloquent. To start off the list strong is probably one of the most important yet often overlooked rules. A lot of guys think that it makes them look cool if they don't pay much attention to the way they construct their sentences. They might use silly internet slang or use a lot of abbreviations. This is not the way to do it guys. Sure, you don't need to spend tons of time carefully reviewing every little text, but still, you should strive to construct your sentences in a proper manner. Spell words the correct way, pay attention to your grammar, make some intelligent jokes and don't be afraid to use complicated words. This makes you seem mature, organized and intelligent, which is something women find very attractive. When you use too much internet slang, or your messages look messy, it doesn't make you look like a badass it makes you look foolish. So be eloquent. Number two, ask, don't tell. This rule has two main components. Firstly, by asking questions, you keep the conversation flowing with minimal effort. Most women love talking about themselves, so she will most likely be carrying a lot of the conversation. Secondly, by only asking questions, you reveal less information about yourself, which adds an element of mystery to you, which is a big turn on for women. This will make her wonder what is actually going on in your head and who you are as a person. Sure, if she asks you something about you, you can tell her. But try to keep it short and try to discreetly steer the conversation back to talking about her. Number three, be interested. As a follow-up to rule number two, when you ask questions, be genuinely interested in what she is saying. Let's say you ask her about what she does for work and she tells you that she works in a kindergarten. Don't just say something like, oh, that sounds cool. If you do this, the conversation will very quickly hit a dead end. Instead, there are a ton of questions you can ask her in regards to this, and many of them will often lead to talking about very different things. Using the previous example, you could say something like, oh, so I guess you must be very caring by nature, which she most likely is. This will give her a chance to tell you about her personality, and at the same time, you have actually given her a very discreet compliment. A side note on compliments, by the way, you should try to keep them to a bare minimum and try to avoid complimenting her on her appearance altogether. Number four, don't overuse emojis. This one is kind of self-explanatory, but I will include it anyway. Emojis are just what their name suggests, a way to display your emotions through texts. This is something you, as a man, should try to keep to a minimum. I'm not saying to avoid emojis at all costs, they absolutely do have their place in the texting game, but try to think twice before using them, and never use many emojis in one text. Number 5. Be witty. I talk about this one all the time because it really is that important. Never be too serious. You should always give her a feeling that you are calm, happy, and don't take things too seriously. If there is room for cracking a joke, you should go for it, and don't be afraid to use dark humor or sarcasm you will be surprised how many girls actually find this hilarious. Number six, don't respond too fast. This is probably the most important rule of them all, and it will make your life easier in more than one way. When you send a text to a woman and she responds, think of it like if you have planted a seed. The longer you wait, the more it will grow, but at some point you still need to harvest. What this means is that when she has responded to you, the longer she has to wait for your reply, the more excited she will be to finally receive it. When she has sent you a text and several hours have passed, she may start to wonder if she said something wrong or if you lost interest. 
This will make her think about you and get you inside her mind, which is exactly where you want to be. Then when she gets the notification that you have replied, a huge relief will rush over her, and she will most likely respond back to you pretty quickly, and all you had to do was literally nothing. This one is so easy to implement, and you should definitely do it. Number 7. Don't respond at all. If she sends you a text that you have a hard time coming up with a reply to, don't be afraid to just leave her on read. I don't mean that you should never text her again, but just open the text and go on about your usual business. Then, when you feel the time is right, you can strike up a new conversation. Again, this will also make her think more about you, and again, it requires minimal effort. Number 8. Remember your goal. Don't get caught in the trap of just texting back and forth with a girl without the conversation leading anywhere. Texting should not be used as a way to entertain each other with mindless chatting. It should be used as a vehicle to get her to go on a date or hook up with you, whichever is the preferred goal. Of course, you are going to have multiple conversations with her over text, but you should always have the goal in the back of your mind. Always remember this. Number 9. Take your time. This one is very similar to number one, which was about being eloquent. When you have decided that it is time to reply to her, take a step back and take your time. Don't stress about replying. You should choose your words carefully in order to present yourself in the best possible way. Remember, the competition in online dating is fierce, so use your mind and come up with the best replies you can. Number 10. Know when to stop. If your gut starts to tell you that this is not going to work, or that she doesn't seem too interested to meet up with you, take a step back, analyze. And if you come to the conclusion that it's not going to be worth the effort, just ghost her. Really, never reply to her again. Of course, if she comes back around and suddenly seems much more interested, you can think about it again. But start out by just deciding to stop here and move on to the next girl. Or even better, proceed to work towards your other goals in life. That's it for today's video, guys. I sincerely hope you have learned something that you can put to good use, and I hope that each and every one of you are one step closer to becoming the man you strive to be. Remember, you will not become an expert overnight after watching this video. It takes practice, so put yourself out there, make mistakes, and adjust accordingly. We are all going to make it, brothers. See you next time.